Gospel Reflections for the Third Sunday of Advent. The Gospel for this Sunday, December 13th, is from John 1, verses 6 to 8 and 19 to 28. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, Who are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to them, Who are you? so that we can give you an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent and they asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you did not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. Reflections on today's gospel. We are told of a man sent from God whose name was John. The Baptist came, St. John tells us, as a witness to testify to the light, for he was not himself the light. From time memorial, God has sent messengers, spokespersons. Think of all the prophets and Pharisees of Israel. Indeed, every sage, philosopher, artist, or poet who has communicated something of God's truth and beauty all of these could be characterized as witnesses to the light. The point is that one whom is the Baptist bears witness is someone qualitatively different, not one more bearer of the word, however impressive, but the word himself. What is being held off here is the tendency, as is prevalent today as in the ancient world, to domesticate Jesus and turn him into one more in a long line of prophets and seers. Some questions for reflection on today's reading. Am I grateful for those who are witnesses to the light that God has sent into my life? Have I realized the uniqueness of Jesus as the word himself, or do I domesticate him by thinking of him as just one more in a long line of prophets? What act of adoration or prayer is God calling me to do this week to help him acknowledge the uniqueness of Jesus so that I am prepared to celebrate his birth?